together as a team, both teams around the room back. We got smoke down there. Nope, we're not. I was a biggest skeptic in the beginning, didn't think it was going to work at all. Um, that first demonstration when you just held it up to your face with the, the handgun and showed how little was exposed on your center line, I figured it was worth it and then actually using it, absolutely incredible. Awesome. Love, love to have several of them. Uh, we use the vector shield a couple times this week in training. Um, I think it's beneficial. I think everybody um, on a team or even in a patrol car could use it on a daily basis. Um, I mean, I was a skeptic. I think like most of us were when we first saw it, but um, after just even holding it for a few minutes and then using it this week, it, it, it's, it's life changing. I mean, it, I wish everybody could have one. I'll grab that. Uh, Anthony was at a sweat upper in mass. You know, when I first saw the shield, I'm a big guy, so that's way too small. But centerline protection is obviously, you know, the most critical area where we're going to get hurt or killed. And using it, um, you can shoot well with it. You can maneuver through houses with it. I can see myself wanting one for car stops when we do anti crime, and uh, I think it's a great tool that we should all use. Hey there, Adam Carlotto, I'm a Deputy Commander of the Berkshire County SRT. And um, we have Vector out here uh, using their, their shields this week. I think it's a fantastic product. I mean, it doesn't replace stuff we already have, but it just it makes us that much more better. And having those extra pieces of equipment, um, linear assaults, you know, more agile, uh, lightweight, just beautiful. There's definitely a place for it in the tactical atmosphere uh, for the work that we do in my area. When you first brought it out, it seemed way too small, but then when we started using it, um, it was easy to shoot around and easy to carry around than a bigger shield. Um, using that while getting shot at with the sim rounds. Would you like to carry one in the field? Yeah, absolutely. Highly impressed with them. Um, initial impressions, obviously, probably like everybody else's. Thought it was too small. Had concerns with it. As soon as we started operating with it, and we were able to see the the dynamics that it could play into. Um, absolutely incredible tool. Centerline protection is huge, and then you know, after doing additional medical training this week and incorporating the vectors into the training, definitely saw the advantages of having that shield. My message to other SWAT operators is, it's awesome. Everybody should have one. Let's make a big show. You're his cover. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Yeah, I'm Hey! Lift up your feet. You can hear me. Just lift your foot so I know you can hear me. Stand up and put your hands high so we can see him. This is the police department. What's your name, man? This is John? John, talk to me, man. Move your foot. I know you can hear me. And we're guessing he's John. Yeah, we're all here in Berkshire County. We just had a great day of training. Uh, it was awesome with our uh, regional Berkshire County special response team we had the opportunity to use the uh the great shields and as a result we use them for multiple entries and some perimeter uh, protection also some vehicle assaults and as a result we uh we had a group of 25 30 guys that went from thinking what the hell are these little shields right to we're like wow can we get these tomorrow or do you mind if we borrow some until we get our order in so we're looking forward to it and uh thanks for coming out so when we look at midline we got a lot of midline protection when it comes to you know depending on what type of vest that you have but this is that 
you know, if you will, a force multiplier where you're able to take that shield, hold it here in a junctional area, a lot of protection right there. If you're doing approaching a vehicle, you know, the suspects in the vehicle turns and shoot. We have complete coverage in that critical area down here in that lower abdomen and pelvic area that, you know, those are critical shots that even as a medic out in the field, we don't have life-saving interventions for that except the rapid, you know, uh, extraction Absolutely. and to keep an open mind you know we i just admitted that we looked at it for a second from afar and we're like what is that and then within minutes we're like holy crap we need to have that it is definitely a game changer you know it brings the tool to the toolbox it's not eliminating your larger shield we understand that but you know if we're going to isolate the options that we have then we're failing our team and we're failing our, failing our communities so if we can bring another tool into the toolbox let's focus on that and have every option that's available to us for every type of incident we could run into Okay, take two steps straight up. It's in the next room. I got cover on this back door if you rabbit. it. He's, he's buckled. Here. The simulation pad is on there. Uh, so, I'm a SWAT operator. I'm also a defensive tactics instructor. Um, I've seen these. It's a variance of, um, you know, thinking this was a shield and not a protective device, uh, like we kind of learned over the last couple of days. Um, I found it super useful for a lot of different techniques that I didn't think of before. And I think, uh, I think it's a game changer with some of those, uh, some of those different things that we can employ it with, uh, especially when we come to EDPs, uh, de-escalation and just as a, a multi-use tool, uh, more so than looking at it like a shield. And I think it's been a great product keep an open mind uh, especially with that center line um, the center line position just talking about that when we start working angles SWAT guys work angles all the time so if we can if we can look at that with working angles and uh, maximizing um, the material that we have in front of us I think I think it's a really good tool